Hi everybody, this is Bo Guest Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing my top 10 countdown for the top 10 action figures of 2020. So, while this year may have been a dumpster fire, the action figures weren't. So first off, we have number 10, we have the Walmart exclusive Grey Black Widow figure. So this was one of my favorite Marvel Legends figures of this year, and it's probably one of my favorite exclusives ever. Um, it was just really well done. And this was originally really hard to find in stores. Um, but eventually she got a pretty wide release and just about everyone was able to get her. Up next we have the Raw 10 Cygor figure. Um, he was a really good example of getting bang for your buck. This was a $20 figure. And even though the articulation was pretty limited, the sculpt detail and the paint detail to it was amazing. And you know, it's a huge figure all for $20. So yeah, this was another really awesome release from McFarlane. At um, number 8, we have the Batman Who Laughs with Sky Tiger Wings. This is another McFarlane figure that is absolutely well done. Um, I was going to originally put the original Batman Who Laughs from the uh, Batmobile Builder thing on here, but uh, this version is better in almost every single way. Um, the head sculpt is a huge improvement over the first one. Um, the sculpt detail is a lot better to the suit. And you have these really big wings that you can extend. So yeah, that is why he uh, beat out the original version. Even though this one doesn't have any weapons, this is still the better version in my opinion. Coming in at number 7 is the NECA Casey Jones from the Casey and Raphael Walmart exclusive 2-pack. This figure is entirely new and the sculpt detail to it is really well done. But yeah, this was another really well done NECA figure. At number six is the Besker Mandalorian Black Series figure. This is hands down my favorite Black Series figure from 2020. Um, he was pretty hard to get when he was first released, uh, but now retailers have started getting more cases of just him in, and now there's the uh, Target version, but this version is still my favorite. Um, the sculpt detail to it is really good. Uh, the paint detail is pretty simple, but it's also pretty nice. But yeah, uh, I just really like the character, and I think Hasbro did it justice. Now we are entering the top five of our list. So at number five is the DC Multiverse Devastator figure. Um, like Cygore, this is a really huge figure that has tons of sculpt and paintwork and some surprisingly uh, well-done articulation, all for $20. Uh, they they could have easily made this, just like Cygore, a deluxe figure. But they didn't. He was just a standard $20 figure. And for $20, you get this amazing figure. So that is why he is number five. Coming in at number four is the NECA King Kong figure. This was a figure that I'd definitely been looking forward to for a while. But once I got it in hand, you know, I couldn't stop posing it and taking pictures of it. It was just a really fun, awesome figure. Um... I was shocked at how much I liked it. Like I said, I'd been looking forward to it and knew I'd like it, but I didn't figure that I'd like it this much. So yeah, this is uh, definitely the top NECA figure of the year for me personally. Now we're in the top three of the list. So at number three is the gold Agent Gomez Mezco figure. He has the tailored suit and that gold head is just amazing. It, uh, it makes him pretty heavy when you have that one on there. You got the uh, standard head sculpt, but I like this one better. And the accessory count on him is insane. Uh, most of the review when I originally reviewed him was just of the accessories. That's just how many he came with. So yeah, this is a really awesome release. At number two is the Marvel Legends Super Scroll Wave Doctor Doom figure. Um, Marvel Legends fans have waited a long time for redo of Doctor Doom because uh, when he was released, this new version, I think the last version was the Ronin Wave from 2008, and this one definitely outdid that. The sculpt work is really good, especially there on the uh, the cloak and the cape. The sculpt work to it is fantastic, pun intended. Um, and he came with a good bit of accessories. And if you missed out on this one, they did do a re-release with even more accessories. Um, it doesn't have the modern head sculpt to it, but still. If you missed out on this version, you can get that version. But uh, he is definitely my top Marvel Legends figure of this year. And finally... My number one favorite figure of this year is the McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat Spawn figure. Um, this was another case, uh, like Doctor Doom, of not having a really well-articulated Spawn figure in years. And this one definitely delivered. 
He had really good articulation, some really good sculpt and paint work. But yeah, I liked everything. I loved everything about him. Uh, this is my favorite figure of the year. Um, originally, I was going to give it to the Kickstarter spawn, but yeah, I still don't have that or the Token and Razar set. Um, I originally planned on including all three of those on my list, but I don't have any of them yet, so uh, they won't be going on this list. But yeah, this spawn figure is awesome. If you didn't get the Kickstarter spawn, then you should definitely get this one because it is just as good. So that is my top 10 figures of 2020 list. But yes, this is my top 10 list. Uh, like I said, 2020 hasn't been the greatest year, but the figures from this year were definitely awesome. So leave a comment down below and tell me your top 10 figures of 2020. And um, I'll probably do uh, some more top 10 videos. I'll probably do a uh, top 10 Marvel Legends of 2020 and a top 10 DC Multiverse 2. And a few of these that you see will probably make it onto that list. So that is my video. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.